you can plug in a MIDI keyboard. I've just got one here. And this is a shout out to CME. I've had this for like 10 years. And um, it's really good, actually. It just kind of used to fit just in front of my MacBook. Really slim as well, like kind of like really slim. So um, just a USB keyboard. If I connect this to the back here, and then all I need to do is go MIDI. And as I said, check the other video out. I've done MIDI out going into a Moog, just so you can see what that's like. Uh, whereas this, I want MIDI in. So now, so if I want to, you can play whatever you're, um, so if you do like, if you do prefer to use a piano and obviously you can, um, try different sounds, uh, they're, they're really like banked really well. Let's see piano and keys. There's one I was using that is lo-fi piano. I mean, that, that's a vibe to me straight away, you know. So for me, if I wanted to just have this, so imagine you've got your headphones, this and that, that to me is like portable songwriting machine. And I can, if I want to get some vocal ideas, I could just sample it, record it. I think the limit is about four minutes of stereo per pad or per sampler. So, I mean, there's plenty to go at. There's like, you know, minutes and minutes. The whole idea is to make music on the move. How much do you want to do? That's totally up to you. But yeah, I've got to say for me, like just something like this, I've got a Korg one as well that's like um, a bit more compact with other things on it. But this kind of thing. I mean, I can change the octave on here for this. Um, So obviously it doesn't stop me from playing chromatically. So I can still play outside of notes if I want to. So you can send MIDI in. So you can use MIDI input. Uh, I think that's just awesome that you can control whether you want to send it in and out. And um, possibilities with that really good so you can put your favorite midi controller take that with you and plug it into here boom so great move on that one do subscribe to the channel if you want to see how i'm up to next i'll be posting all kinds of videos how to use move live push and anything to do with making music with a little bit of an ableton connection thanks for watching